Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the States FC. And yes, I was going to do this video yesterday talking about the West Northern Ireland game. But we all know what happened yesterday. Quite unfortunate, quite sad, still a little bit disappointed. Um, I guess the Olympics isn't necessarily the biggest tournament, but still just I feel like a really big blow in terms of perception for the American soccer community. But anyway, we're just going to do a chill video talk about the US North Ireland game because I really like what I saw. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, we beat Northern Ireland 2-1 to one with goals from Gio Reyna, Christian Pulisic. Now, Gio Reyna did score off a deflection about 20 yards out. Might have been lucky, but at the same time, I think it was well-deserved considering how well he played in both of these games. Christian Pulisic scored a penalty. Well, he earned the penalty as well. Did very, very well. The entire entire match was definitely the man of the match. So elusive. You know, he's really good. He cut inside a lot. He got around defenders just with Audis. By far the best player on the field. Not even questionable. Um, Pulisic seemed to start wide, drift inside. He even played more of as a, even as a center mid at times. He played attacking mid, center mid, left wing. He was all over the field, pressing relentlessly. Really, really excited to see Pulisic back with the national team, back doing what he used to be doing, doing Pulisic things. Um, Girena played really well, tucked inside. Both of the, I guess, wingers in the system. Tucked inside really well, had a lot of impact on the game. Sabachu started this game as well. He played all right. I don't think he's better than the sergeant. Wasn't the most clean in possession. He didn't give many chances, but I think he did well. Uh, midfield, Musa did very well. Maybe dribbled a bit too much, I think. Now, I like players when they express themselves, their creativity, dribble a lot, but I think Musa was a little bit over the top, considering that they were playing in a two-man midfield, and I didn't really like him dribbling too much. Kellen Acosta, um, he just looked tired, out of shape, very poor in possession, not his best game. I don't think he should be with the senior A team, but oh well. Anthony Robinson on the hand on the left hand side, basically the left wing back, got forward a lot. Very, very well, got up the field, pressed relentlessly. Should have scored a goal, took a too big of a touch, but oh well, that happens to every footballer. Um Serginho Des played about half the game. I think he played half time, got subbed off for Brian Reynolds. But Serginho Des did awesome, I thought, good in possession, doing Des things. Brian Reynolds came on at halftime, I thought he did wasn't completely out of his element. Making the jump from MLS to Serie A is quite big. Not the best defensively, a pretty good going forward. He had one little touch on the defender, got to the byline really quickly. Uh, Reem played better than I thought. He played all right, had some good passes. Miasko was average, and Aaron Long was average. And Zach Stavin made a couple big saves. So I really liked what I saw. The U.S. seems to be going in a very, very good direction under Greg Berhalter. Me, personally, I did not like the 3-4-2-1, whatever you want to call it, that much. I know a lot of people did. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think it could have been a blame because, one, the center mids weren't ideal. Ideally, you probably have Musa McKinney in there, but playing a three-back, it doesn't allow you to play Adams, McKinney, and Musa on the field at one time. One's going to have to be on the bench, likely. Um, center back, Spring was not a starter, so John Brooks and probably Mount Meow is going to be there, so it will be better from the center back um, perspective. But I wasn't huge on it because we caught up, got caught up possession a few times. Um, some sloppy passes, like, I think Adams would help solve some of those problems, but overall, I think the three-back... It's definitely a good option. I think we have, you know, the chance to play maybe in a World Cup qualifier. But I think Greg Baralti uses more as an experiment because the three-back takes a lot of practicing. It takes a lot of small details, nitpicky things you have to get right um, in order for it to be successful. So I don't think Baralti is going to use that long term. I think the 4 3 is still the best formation against Jamaica. We moved the ball around super well. You know, lots of interchanges, lots of clean passes. Very, very good in possession. I think everyone is most comfortable in the 4-3-3. Um, that being said, I really liked what I saw. Our senior team seems to be really moving in a positive direction from 2019, which wasn't the best year. But playing against Wales, Northern Ireland, some decent opponents. We've seemed to do pretty well, controlled the game. Um, even though it's B teams, these Northern Ireland teams and Wales teams played are going to be better than most of the teams who play World Cup qualifying, minus maybe Jamaica and Mexico. So overall, I really like what I see. Um, Berhalter is definitely, I feel like, evolved more as a coach. Lots of more, lots better in-game management. Substitutions got so much better. He seems to implement a very good system, which I think all the guys seem to, you know, play with their styles, how they play, possession, clean passes, quick. Um, but overall, yeah, I really liked what I saw. Let me know down in the comments what you liked. Who was your man of the match? Who you want to see in the Nations League? Are you looking forward to it? But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.